Today I want to talk about uh, different lengths and waists and fits of tights uh, so everybody can find their right fit or the fit that you want. Since we deal with elite athletes, uh, we have something called the athlete cut. And what it basically is, is it's a lower cut. And you can see that by you see that the, the waistline goes down. So this is really this is really developed to really focus in on the uh, on the stomach and the abs and be able to show them for the for the people that are in competition shape and also that really are, are working hard on their midsection. This is a what we call a low waist or an athlete cut. And it is it is quite low. It's going to come about eight centimeters down from the belly button or five inches. Then we go over to what we have is it called a mid waist. And a mid waist is exactly what it sounds like. It hits you between the belly button and uh, the lower cut. It's a happy place for everyone. Everybody can fit in this, whether you're an athlete or aspiring to be an athlete. And then um, you have uh, different types of high waists. Um, high waists are done for various different reasons. One is sometimes just trend. Uh, the trends of the tops go up, and that means the waists go up. Um, and this, this higher waist is, is quite comfortable to wear. This comes all the way up to the belly button and to a woman's true waist. And a high waist, what's important here is the waist, there's still a, a tilt down in the front, and the back on all of these, um, all of these tights are still as far up as possible. Because in any of these, we're all doing squats, we're all running, um, we're all doing a lot of activity. And so when you bend down, you don't want to lose your tights. So it's really important that you get a, a nice height on the back. And all of our tights are, are um, designed and developed to be quite high in the back. Okay, I want to talk a little bit about um, tights and the fabrics and uh, what, makes, uh, what makes them different. Tights are made out of pretty much two fabrics. They're made out of polyester and polyamide. Polyester tends to be um, more moisture transporting, which means it's a hydrophobic. Hydro meaning water, phobic meaning to push away. Um, polyamide is a hydrophilic, hydro meaning water, and philic meaning pull, pull, pull towards you. And the difference in these two, they're both uh, well-functioning fabric and very strong fabric, is the polyamide um, will retain its moisture a little bit more, but it's a really, really uh, resilient fabric. Um, lasts a very long time and it's, the wear on it is, is very good. Uh, polyester tends to be a little bit more moisture transporting, a little bit more comfortable to wear, um, but is not as strong as a polyamide. And it's just, it, all of them are quite strong, but it's just that little, some, those little differences that you want. We start with the Camo High Tights, which is a polyamide and 9% elastone, very comfortable to wear. Um, slightly lighter weight, about 230 grams. And I know that doesn't mean much to you right now, but after I finish, I'm hoping it will. Um, so 230 grams, so it's a lighter fabric, um, not as uh, snug or can't be called compression, but it's a very comfortable uh, tight for the gym. And then we go over to our um, Fitness Curve tights. And the Fitness Curve tights is 13% elastone. Um, so slightly more elastone, so what you're gonna get is you're gonna get a slightly snugger feel to it. Still quite lightweight, 230 grams, but um, fairly good coverage. Uh, what you're going to get out of this is you're going to get, um, we're still not into the range of compression, but again, very comfortable tights, 13% elastone, great drawback on them, um, and made with polyamide, so it's very long wearing uh, pair of tights. Uh, Madison tights and camo high waisted tights, this is made in what's called a full compression. And a full compression is slightly different. It is instead of made out of uh, polyamide, we've made it with polyester. And as I said before, the polyester is a hydrophobic, which it pushes the moisture away, so it's going to be quite comfortable to wear when you're sweating a lot. The important thing about this is a full compression starts at 25 25% elastone traditionally. This is a 28% elastone. What it does, and the function of it, is it allows for the clearing of metabolic waste. Um, which metabolic waste, if it's retained within your muscles, that's what's called, um, that's what makes your muscles sore after you train. Um, it also, uh, with the uh, function of, of uh, compression, compression happens from the ankle to the knee. 
um, it starts very tight at the ankle and then gradually it gets larger up to the knee. And this is the really important part about wearing compression is the entire idea of, of getting tighter at the, the ankle and going to the knee is it's blood return. So the more the blood that re is returned, the more metabolic waste is cle it's cleared out and also secures, um, gives you a very secure feel, feeling for your muscles. So if you're doing hard and high impact training, compression is a really comfortable thing to wear. The few things that we really that really stands out within in trend and training and trend in fashion is is um, camo. Camo is going to be really really important, or actually already is quite important. But we'll co we'll cover through all the way through 2017. We're not necessarily following uh, the 2017 trend because we are camo. It's where we come from. Um, so, but but since but since it is so important in in uh, in trend right now, we thought who better to capitalize on it and who better to give you great camos than better bodies. Um, so we're coming out with a couple of new camos this year. Um, so we have our camo long tights, which are the traditional ones that come in the, the green camo and the gray camo um, with the athlete cuts. We also have a limited edition um, white camo for those who dare, which I know many of you do. Um, this is a real statement piece. This is what we call an Arctic camo. We also have uh, the camo high waist in the compression fabric, and this comes in a new, um, I would say, uh, traditional green camo and a black camo. And so this is called a night camo. Another thing that we believe is, uh, or we, we know is really important for 2017 is white space. And when I say white space, it just is literally what it uh, sounds like is, people are daring to wear white again, and uh, we're daring to wear white in the gym. And we've come out with uh, two new white tights. Uh, one is the Madison, uh, Madison tight in white, and also the limited edition white camo. The different features here is, I told you, it was um, the reason we can do white tights, because there's tons of white tights out on the market. But in order to do a white tight, you have to have a few more features. White is naturally see-through um, because it's a very light fabric. So we really pumped it up. We pumped it in our, um, our 280 gram compression fabric. Um, so you get a great look on it. It really hugs your muscles and really delivers on performance. But at the same time, it gives you a really crisp look. And if you dare to wear um, the white tights, then these are the white tights you want to get your hands on. Uh, the features that we're looking at, which are really important for better bodies, that you always know it's uh, us, you don't even have to see a logo, is when you see this better bodies curve, you know what tights that you're looking at. It's on, we represent it on all of our tights, and it is, it is our, um, what we call, Cadillac moment. Um, it's the better bodies curve, and it is on every pair of tights that we do. So you never have to see a logo, but you know it's us. The other features that we think are quite exciting for this year is we're beginning to play a little bit with uh, uh, traditional reflective materials and even new modern black reflective. Um, on the white camo, I mean on the white um, Madison tight, you're going to see these uh, the strips and the curve, the Better Bodies curve, and it's in a traditional um, silver reflex um, with a kind of a barcode feeling at the bottom. And this is for when, uh, you know, the dark winter months and when you're out inside and outside the gym, if any light hits you, the whole tights, they light up. And that's kind of a cool effect. Uh, going on to um, the black reflective, this is something that is, uh, that is quite a new type of reflex and reflective material because the traditional one is the silver one, but then black is, is gives kind of a, another look to it. Um, so on the blue uh, Madison tights and also on the black Madison tights, we're using black um, reflective. So when you look at it, it just looks like a print, but the moment that light hits it, it lights up. Um, so it can be quite uh, low-key looking, um, but, the, but as I said, the moment a little bit of light hits you, you'll see the difference in the tights light up. Um, so that is the um, few little features that we're working with this year. And as I said, the most important this year to remember is camo, camo, camo. It is, it is important, and you'll see a lot in what we're doing. Um, in all different ways, subtle ways and bold ways. Also, um, the Better Bodies curves that's always existed, they look the same, so you don't even have to see our logo. You know when you see a curve, that's Better Bodies. But also, playing with um, uh, new technologies like bonded seams and bonded edges, also reflex and black reflex. Um, we're hoping it will really make it an exciting um, blast into 2017 and give you lots to choose from, uh, from Better Bodies.